Hi and welcome to a new video. With screen mirroring, you can easily give presentations to groups, share your photos, and view your favorite iPhone apps on your Mac screen. In this video, I will show you how to mirror your iPhone display to your Mac using either a wired or wireless connection. Let's go. First, let's try wirelessly mirroring your iPhone screen. Before starting, take note of some necessary configurations needed on your Mac. From the dashboard, click the Apple icon in the top left corner and navigate to System Preferences. Access the Sharing Configuration menu and activate AirPlay Receiver. Next, specify the access for the AirPlay connection. If you want to restrict access to only iOS devices signed in with the same Apple ID as your Mac, set it to Current User. Otherwise, choose either anyone on the same network or everyone. Note that this may initially require authentication, particularly if the device is signed in with a different Apple ID. On your iPhone, open the Control Center. Tap the Screen Mirroring button and set your Mac from the list of available devices. Once connected, your iPhone should instantly mirror your Mac. While wireless screen mirroring is convenient, it can sometimes be unstable depending on the strength of your network connection. This can result in poor video quality, delays, or interruptions during the mirroring process. For more stable screen mirroring, it's best to do this via a USB cable. Make sure to use an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure that your Mac can successfully recognize the connected iPhone. If you don't have one yet, click on the tag in the top right corner to purchase one. To confirm the connection between your iPhone and Mac, open the Finder app and make sure your device is accessible in the Locations panel. Next, launch QuickTime Player. From the menu bar, click on File and select New Movie Recording. Once the media player appears, click the drop-down icon beside the Record button and select iPhone as the camera video source. To ensure high-quality recording, make sure the Quality option is set to Maximum. You may also set your iPhone as your microphone audio input. Once your iPhone is mirrored, click the Record button to start recording your screen. Then, press the Stop button when you're done recording. When you close the iPhone window, you'll be prompted to save your recording to your preferred destination folder. Let me also show you another useful feature. From the Quick Time Player toolbar, click View and select Float on Top. This feature ensures that your mirror display stays on top of any other application you have open on your Mac. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.